I'm Merrick D'Amato. I'm having a panic attack. And welcome back to Mind Breakers. Woo! <sighs> well, we haven't actually watched a Terminator film on this show before. That's how I feel. I'm excited. And both Terminator films are very, very good. Hell what yeah. A, what about Terminator 3 or Salvation? Or J- I said both are very good. <laughs> yes, both movies are great. I agree. So today we're actually going to be watching Terminator 2. Oh, wait, we're starting with the second one? Yeah, the best movie. Probably one of the best sci-fi films of all time. Hey, I'm not going to argue. This is Terminator 2 from 1989. Wait, no, that's not right. Hold up. I think, I, I think we've been bamboozled. I don't want to be bamboozled. Better than being beanboozled, I guess. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Oh, yeah, we've been tricked. It's shocking dark. Oh, you sent me a message and said we were going to watch Terminator 2. Yeah, I, I thought it was ter- Terminator 2. It turns out the, the audio file I linked you to, the video file I linked you to, was also this one. Terminator oh. 2, Shocking Dark by Bruno Matai. Oh, God, the name appears once again. Our, our, our dark rival. God damn it. Uh, well, what's it about? Hold on, Audacity's being slow and dumb. Understandable. It's showing me Sonic the Hedgehog 2. <laughs> what? <laughs> In a polluted future Venice, researchers work to improve the situation. One day, unknown forces start killing them. A team of soldiers and a couple civilians, why, is <laughs> sent to event and investigate. Uh, they inc- soon they encounter strange, murderous creatures. Oh no, they fight, They meet the gnomes. They meet the gnomes. The squirrels. Okay, I gotta say, I the gnomes from the old Harry Potter games are kind of squirrels. Scary and murderous. Oh yeah, abs a hundred percent. No. Oh, when you when you knock them out, they're just like. Oh. <laughs> anyway, it's got a four point five out of ten. Came out in nineteen eighty nine as and is, yeah, like it's called Shocking Dark, but also slapped Terminator two on its title. It's a big old Terminator face with the glasses. It is an obvious plant. Yay! An obvious lie. <laughs> Uh, I'm, let's, I don't. Wa- let's watch this. I don't wanna. Load up on guns and bring your friends. It's fun to lose and to pretend. She's overboard and self-assured. Oh no, I know a dirty word. Hello. 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 How low? Hello. Hello. I can't. Hello. How low? With the lights out. It's less dangerous. Here we are now. Entertain us. I feel stupid and contagious. Here we are now. Entertain us. (laughs) You said you had a plan. I did not know where the fuck you were going with that. Um... That was more entertainment than I had watching I'm the entire fucking movie. I'm a mulatto. I'm albino. A mosquito. My libido. Uh, can, can that be the review? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> can I just be the review? Like, I that's think the it, review done. should be, should be uh, Sam the Eagle, Ralph the Dog... Uh, Hogthrob and Beaker rocking out to, for 
r- rocking out on state onto the stage for the the barbershop version from the Muppet movie. Hundred <laughs> percent. And Jack Black tied to a chair. It would have been. It ate so much better than whatever the fuck we just watched. Anything with Muppets is generally better than this. Oh, yeah. This movie was um, boring. Yeah, this was very, very... It's aliens. Yeah. It's just aliens. It's just aliens. And I don't even like aliens, so... It, it's aliens, but bad. Badder. Bad, worse, worse than Creepazoids, I think. I'd have to rewatch it, but I think I agree. Like... At least Creepazoids, they weren't just another squad of space marines. They were, they went in there to escape. I, we actually understood why, yeah, they, why okay, they were yeah, in yeah. there. They were in there because there was acid rain outside. Unless yeah. Unless they had the acid rain. This. This was, I, I was confused the whole time watching. We like, start out in the past or the present in Venice with the best acting in the movie. Because it just looks like they filmed some tourists in Venice. Yeah, it's, it's just it looks like it's just stock footage of like Venice recording Venice on the streets. Now. And then tourists and then Venice happy. is no more. And Venice is polluted by by pollutants and there's smoke and guys in silly suits with gas masks. And so yeah. we meet our squad of space marines. Are they space marines? Well, they're called the Megaforce. Oh, that's their actual name? Yeah, they're called the Megaforce. Oh, I thought you were fucking around. No. <laughs> oh, no. And disappointingly, it's not the actual movie Megaforce, which is far better than this. Or Power Rangers Megaforce, which is far worse than this. <laughs> I don't like Power Rangers Megaforce. I don't blame you. It's really bad. Oh, these are our ragtime heroes. Ragtime? I don't know. I t- I t- any anything but this. That's and how I feel right now. There's a security footage from get this, the underground base complex underneath Venice. Yeah, you know. <laughs> no. The place with so much earth around it. The the place that isn't isn't totally just floating. Yeah, you know you know how like the intro stated that Venice was polluted by its water like the thing is like, like the intro made it clear that the that the pollutants would dissolve the thing stuff holding up venice and venice would sink yep that hasn't happened nope and there's nothing under and if there was a big concrete bunker underneath venice there wouldn't be there wouldn't be an issue <laughs> if the water would be polluted that would be bad but it wouldn't the city would not sink so i don't know what this complex is because it can't be underneath venice I don't know. <laughs> we got people stuck down there, I guess. And they call for help, so the... <sighs> Say it. The Tubular Corporation. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was a big, like, say the line Bart moment for me. Say it. Look oh. at me. Finish it. What the fuck do you mean they're called the Tubular Corporation? <laughs> so they, they they send their soldiers in, so we got, um, I think the, the black lady from Rat's Night of Terror is here. Oh my god, is it her? I'm not sure, because I don't know anyone's name. I'm just gonna try to find it. Hold on here. Like, her uh... picture's not here. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I can't. I can't find it. I think she's just called Second Soldier for some reason. I Patricia I don't even Sadak. know what her name was. No, okay, she's only in this, I guess. But she looked like what's her name from? Uh... I almost no one has pictures in this. No, because... And I'm sure almost no one used their real names. Yeah, I was say there's a high chance that I don't think anyone used their real name here. There's a Goretta Goretta. A name I'm, I know I've seen before. She was in Demons, I think. Goretta Goretta. So I looked it up before, and I think oh, that's yeah, what... Rosemary in Demons. Yeah. Ooh. 
Oh, she was in uh, Rats Night of Terror. Yeah, yeah, she's chocolate. Yeah, I think it's yeah. the same person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Warrior of the Lost World, which you have not yet seen. 2020 Texas Gladiators. Texas Gladiators? Texas Gladiators. Okay. Shocking Dark. Ride of Violence. Oh, God. I just, I just... Buy and Sell, but it's Sell with a C. I just... Murder Rock, Dancing Death. <laughs> Smithereens. <laughs> Sorry, 2020 Texas Gladiators fucking poster, and it's making me laugh. <laughs> yeah, she's known for this in Demons. Yeah, that's I think I know exactly who she played. In Demons, I think she's like the first person to get Demon. Probably. Have you seen Demons? I, I don't remember. Did I watch that? You No, Gio watched it for the show, but like I think I've re- recommended like the original to you several times. I, I want to say I've seen it, because I, I, I remember you telling me to watch it. Because you you should see some legit good Italian horror. Yeah, yeah, I'm pr- I'm I'm pretty sure I've seen it. I do remember you recommending me. So I, re- I recommend that and Suspiria. Yes, and I also seen Suspiria. Suspiria. Very good. I I enjoyed it very much. You you know what's funny? Uh, before I get into the review, uh, you take the music from Suspiria, mm-hmm. and you take the music video, um, Total Eclipse of the Heart, and you take the sound out. And you replace it with the, the Suspiria theme, and get, and then you'll see just how bizarre the, the visuals in that music video video are, and how oddly they fit up to Italian horror. Interesting. <laughs> like with all the kids with their glowing eyes, and the kid with the wings throwing a bird, and yeah, yeah, blowing yeah. curtains and everything. It, it's a freaking, it's a Dario Argento shoot. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that man loved color. <laughs> Specific like. Suspiria is beautiful for that. It's such a good looking film. I was blown away that it was as old as it is. Mm. I wasn't blown away by this movie though. No. No. It just made me want to watch Aliens. It's all it did. It did make me want to watch Aliens because I don't even like that movie. Uh, and yeah, the one, the main reason I don't like that movie, they double down on it. It's so much worse than this. The reason in this movie. But we will get to that. So uh, they, they just get a team together. They bring a scientist to check on nothing. I don't know why she's there either. Because like, they're not going to look on how to fix the water. They're going on to get these guys out. But she has a beeper. the scientist for that. But she's she has a, a beeper. A, it's a light bright. She does have a light bright. <laughs> she's got a beeper that can apparently tell if someone is alive. Okay. Okay. How did it not immediately... Spoilers, there's a robot. How did it not immediately, like, tell her the robot was a robot? Uh... (laughs) Shut up. (laughs) Because he's not alive, he's a robot. I... See, my, my counterpoint to that was going to be, oh, because they have to wear the bracelets or whatever, right? But he's a robot, so the machine should have just picked it up. It's like, not alive. It's like, oh. Oh. Oh, maybe it's because he's so advanced, you know? So advanced that he slices off his own face while cackling madly and goes into Homer. (laughs) Oh, stupid movie. Stupid and bad. I don't like it. Okay, so nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. It's over. A lot of people in the audience. The audience was pissed. pissed. That is essentially the whole movie. Like that's a review of that. That they they go to watch Blair Witch, right? Yeah, he brings them to watch. He brings a blind guy to watch Blair Witch. Uh, something happening. Something about a map. <laughs> uh yeah. Uh, this it's like literally the entire movie is them walking, we, them stopping, rinse, repeat. <laughs> we we meet. Like, it's one of those, I'd rather play Doom, because it just looks like some people exactly. caught, like, playing laser tag or something. Yeah, it's, it, like, it's not great. <laughs> so we meet the Megaforce, and uh, Goretta Goretta, Coster, her name is, apparently she is, she's pulling double duty as that one not 
a Hispanic chick from Aliens. Yeah. I say not Hispanic because the actress was in brownface. Yeah. Ironically, because she thought she was in a movie about illegal aliens. <laughs> once you got, once you uh, auditioned, it's a combination of her and uh, an apone. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Is this character, and she's not competent seeming. I because she say not pleasant, but looks yeah. in the web. She she one sexually harasses all of her crew. Yeah. And then she reaches in the weapons closet and brings out, like, an SPA-5 shotgun. Which, and she's like, what's this, new regiment toy? I'm like, that's, that's a shotgun. It, Granted, it's not like a double barrel or a pump action shotgun, but it, it's like a combat shotgun. But it's, you, I'm a nerd who plays video games, and I know what this <laughs> is. You... You're a soldier. You should know what this is. Say, like you are literally the leader of the squadron. Like, like bruh. it's not to, to to quote Arnold Schwarzenegger. Fizz plasma rifle. It's it's not it's nothing fancy. It's a shotgun. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a gun. <laughs> it. It's not even like a laser shotgun. No, which it's would just be cool. A, it's just a just a gun. It's just a gun. How do you not know what it is? They, they get their mission. She, she hates one of the guys because he's Hispanic, except he sounds Russian. And ostensibly, they're all technically, they're all technically Latin because they're all Italian. Yeah. I, does it build to anything? No. She, he, he saves her life once and he, he tells her to go fuck herself. That's it. Yeah. Which like, you know. Fair. Fair. <laughs> So they go, we also meet this guy from the Tubular Corporation, who when everyone else is wearing gray and yellow, he's in black and red and looks like freaking Krieger, or whatever his name is, from uh, Resident Evil 4. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks like the the, the, the really annoying knife boss from Resident Evil 4. Yeah, 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 I know exactly what you're talking about, yeah, yeah. And as soon as he showed up, it's like, he's the robot. What do you mean? What do you mean he's the robot? We didn't say that he's the robot, no, he's evil. He, yeah, he's bad. He's bad. evil. What, why did you say that? Well, just look at him. Well, we might be pulling a fast one. No. Movie, are you pulling a fast one? No. no. Go to the corner. <laughs> yeah, they, they were really trying to be hot and clever. They failed. But, uh, <laughs> but failed. I mean, this dude, like, 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 you look at him and you're like, You're evil. evil. I sense evil. They, There's so they evil go afoot. Into the base under Venice, which is impossible, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then they shoot at a lot of things. And they meet this crazy guy who's infected by zombie frogmen. Don't ask. Whatever. And he manages to take one of them out, which is impressive. Yeah, c- considering he's not even aiming at them. Yes. Yeah. He makes that point very clear after the fact. Uh, yeah, nails one of them, almost hits the, the stupid sergeant not shotgun-knowing girl. Mm. That's when the line, go fuck yourself, comes into play. Oh, how original. Yeah, uh, they... they like, get a, that, yeah, that's only, like... Lines like that have only worked in extreme situations. Like in Commando, where one guy says to Arnold, fuck you, asshole, then Arnold, like, gets it around and is like, fuck you, asshole. It's, yeah, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Yeah, or sure. in the in the thing when the thing comes up roaring and Kurt Russ and McCready just lights a dime and say, "Yeah, well, fuck you too." Oh, that is yeah, that's good. I want to watch the thing again. It's a great movie. It's a perfect movie. It's a, it is a perfect movie. Or Jaws, another perfect movie, with the smile, you son of a bitch. You see, that's a good one liner. You know. Yeah, I like good one liners. They're far and few between, but when you get a good one, you get a good one. It's Sunday. Remember when you said that? When I said that, kill you last. I yeah, lied. yeah, you did. I lied. <laughs> uh, what you do with Sully? I let him go. Ah, <laughs> uh, Arnie, you beautiful bastard. Oh. Truly, truly, the man knew what he was doing, I and hope damn it, he was good my at fist, it. Because I got the punch to your stomach. What was that one from? The Running Man. Yeah, that's right. Oh, still not sorry that I couldn't find the. Uh... 
Oh, yeah, Mangler we're, 2. Yeah, because we were supposed to do Mangler 2, that's right. I still haven't found it, and I don't care, because that movie was great. <laughs> no, we got Running Man. It was worth it. It was worth every penny. Absolutely. Uh, where the fuck are we in the movie? Uh, they bumble around, they run into some frog monsters. Yeah, that's supposed to be the big scary They're thing in the not, movie. Yeah, like, if they had, they look kind of like they have like, octopus, like Cthulhu Mind Flayer faces. Yeah. But they don't. They just have like big gaping frog mouths. And I'm sorry, frogs aren't scary to me. Understandable. I, frogs I, for some are reason, funny. I'm terrified of frogs, but not like in the way this movie is. Like, well, doing just some it. like freaking battle toads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the bat. <laughs> so that and they don't make the battle toads scary because an aliens is like. They're durable, and even if you manage to kill them, they're spraying acid everywhere. These yeah. battle toads just kind of go out. Yeah, like, there's multiple shootout with these things, and they get hit, and they just fall over. I'm like, ah, what's the threat? <laughs> so the battle toads kill a lot of the people. They have this hive like an alien with some of the soldiers webbed up in just cobwebs. I forgot about that. <laughs> and every time we go into the hive, a roll, it sounds like a Roland Emmerich movie. Because it's going... <laughs> we get that, joke, the, that joke is still funny. We get the kill me scene. The yeah, the aliens. classic. The classic. Everyone gets webbed up. <laughs> uh, they're running through the halls and they meet a certain someone. Yay. It's the best character in the movie. Okay, I gotta, I gotta make a... I'm gonna like take you like backstage for this, like we're, see how the so- behind the scenes how the sauces made sausages made for the show. <laughs> we had to uh, postpone this. We had to like like delay this recording uh, yeah. by a week for none of your business. Um, <laughs> life came up. We had to do it. Yeah. And usually when that happens, I'll rewatch the movies. I refuse to. <laughs> yeah, no, no I it's fine. I refuse to rewatch this film. <laughs> But we meet our newt. Because, you know, aliens. I think her name's Samantha? I don't care. And she is... By far... the Has the most annoying scream in cinema. In cinema. Like, Willie from Temple of Doom's got nothing on her. It's pretty bad. It is horrendous sounding. Yeah, it's not It's not great, and it's not something you hear, like, only once. You hear it a lot. She also can't movie. act at all. I mean, yeah. And now she's part of the team, yay. She's, like, the daughter of another scientist, I think? Yeah. I, I felt unable I th- to care. I think the frog people attacked the base... But I still don't know what the frog yeah, people the battle are. Toads. The battle toads. I think I think they were creations by the spoiler tubular corporation. Because guess what, the tubular corporation is bad. Of course, it's a corporation. Tr- true. Uh, a lot of dumb shit happens in between, like a lot of dumb shit. Like maybe too much of. T- like, maybe too much dumb shit happens. Because mm. the robot turns evil. Yes. So or is evil. It is evil. And I think kills two of the teammates? Yep. Uh, which, alre- the- which already am like, okay, this isn't exactly... Like, evil? Terminator, because, like, there's an evil robot in, a- like, Bishop and Alien. Sure, yeah. Uh, the Ian, Ian McKell... Ian... No, yeah, uh, what's his name? I don't remember. He played Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember the actor's name. It's Alien I like. I like Alien, I just don't like Aliens. Mm-hmm. He, 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 he the bad boy, and he locks the girl and the scientist in a room with the frog people. Mm. And they escape? Yeah. I they, don't remember they, how. They find this, like, uh, thing. This, uh, television that yeah. shows them a, like a, some kind of, like, uh, 
presentation, like yes. product presentation about how yes. they're going to like super pollute Venice so they can sell the art. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> and this is what like tips them off about tubular being bad. And then the robot goes, shit, my cover was blown. Then just shoots people. Or he punches one of them and shoots the other. And they continue. They, they, they do the whole robot chase thing. Yeah, he's walking slowly. Yeah, and they're running. Good lord, they're running. And the little girl falls. And screams. And screams a lot. And the battle toads are coming. <laughs> the battle toads do be coming. Uh, the, the scientist lady fights the robot with a fire hydrant. Yep. And wins. And then he cuts off part of his face. Why? <laughs> Got it. Because the title card. Oh, right, right, right. And, the term right. and near the end of the Terminator, he was missing part of his face, but they That's couldn't right. afford an explosion. That's right. I remember. <laughs> I remember. Anyway, they saved the little girl, and they end up in this room. And if you thought the movie couldn't get dumber, I got two words for you. Time travel. Yeah, this, this like, phone booth. Not like the phone, they get in the phone booth and that takes them to the future. No, 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 it's not Bill and Ted. But. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to explain this either. It's very dumb. They just go in and, like, warp some just randomly to modern day Venice. Yeah, and this was the tubular corporation's design, by the way. They had, this was planned. Because I think they were going to send the robot back in the past. To play shitty games and suck ass. Yep. Uh, but yeah, they're in modern day Venice, and despite a evil man following them and trying to kill them, because guess what, there are two time machine things, don't ask. Yeah. Uh, every time they stop someone and ask for help, they just kind of say no. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, dude, the fuck? One dude gets shot in the water, that was pretty funny. Uh, the robot catches up somehow, and um, they say something, they throw a, the remote at him, and he gets blasted into time I he, think about yeah and then uh, then they leave the movie with a one liner and Same. turns out this has all been an environmental film yep because <laughs> <laughs> uh, now they're in present Venice so they have to save Venice yes because they, they, they got a lot of work to do again? I don't know they just send him into time. Like they throw the remote at him, he freaks out. The ven the ending of this movie is fucking dumb. Did they even know it would work, or did they just kind no. of throw the thing at him? I don't and even know how it lucky. worked. Like she just shot it at him, and he went and then time warp. Let's Best do the ten. time warp again. <laughs> Thank you. It's astounding. Time is uh, fleeting. This movie is really bad. Yeah, like not even <laughs> but good, listen bad. closely. It's called Terminator 2. I think we've been had. <laughs> I'm going to go watch the actual Terminator 2 because good fucking lord this movie ended. Because it's a great movie. Yeah, I needed to fucking clean my palate. Oh my god, this movie was terrible. Knives and stabbing weapons. <laughs> I give this movie a zero. This movie is no, like, like we. I know we're disjointed in our description of it. Partly it's because I refuse to rewatch the movie. I mean, I I watched it again, and <laughs> like I still don't know what the fuck happened in this movie. It's just it's aliens, but worse, and then yeah. Terminator at the end for no reason in Venice. Like, I just really like the in Venice. No, this movie is like, like it's not even like, like we said, Creepazoids is bad, right? Yeah. But like, you can still watch Creepazoids and probably get something out of it. Mm. This no. Like, it is bad. It is so fucking bad. How bad is it? It's so bad that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's all I got. I got nothing. I've seen this movie. This movie ruined my imagination. Divorce. 
Like I still, yeah. I still will st- state that, like Juno's worse than this. Didn't you also have that Dracula what movie? movie? Like Dracula three thousand. Is that maybe? It? I don't. I know there was either that or some movie that you were just like, no, this. There's is a lot of Dracula awful. movies I don't like, including the Bela Lugosi one. Fair. Um, just gonna double check something. Just say, give more th- any final thoughts you got on this movie, while I... Man, like honestly, you watch this movie and you're just kind of like, God, I wish I was watching something else. Like the entire time, like we've seen shit on this channel. Right, like we've seen a lot of bad stuff, but there is still some stuff that I'd rather watch than watch this again. I would probably, no lie, watch Video Dead again Oof, than that's... watch this. Oof, Oof. Which is saying, saying something. That's saying a lot, and but I think I could stick by that statement because this movie was fucking boring. Unlike the second watch through, right? I, I like up the speed of it because by the halfway point, I was just so. I wish out. I'd I thought like, to no, do I need that. To, yeah, I just need to get through But then this I thought of how annoying still uh, the scream would sound sped up and higher. Just I just uh, yeah, <laughs> I just fast forward that. I was like, there are the arrow keys, they're right there. I will say like watching Tremors first, because mm. that's what I did like first when we were yeah. like watching these movies, right? Again, a little bit mm. behind the scenes. Uh you know, we we were watching the movies and I decided to watch Tremors first and fuck me, man. That was a bad I did decision. the other way and still hated this movie. Yeah, but at least you would have ended True. with the good one. You know what I mean? Next I, I week, though, with the good one. Well, if you if you look at what date is it, it is good? today, and you look at what date it is next Friday, oh. what the number is, oh, what can I say? Oh. But oh, cause he's back, the man behind the mask. And he's out of control. He's back. The man behind the mask. And he's come after your soul. Ooh. You guys... <laughs> See you guys next time. Take it easy, everyone.